I've been seeing this trend go around called That Girl, where these girls on TikTok and YouTube have super productive and healthy lifestyle routines, waking up super early, eating really healthy, working out, and being productive. So in today's video, I'm going to try this trend and kind of give my opinion on it. As you saw from the intro, you obviously know I'm trying to do this twist on this social media trend that's been going around on TikTok. But I also want to put in a disclaimer here, where some people kind of look at this trend as toxic and unrealistic setting standards to people. What I see through this trend is that it's just becoming the best version of yourself and what it means to you specifically, if that makes any sense. You don't have to follow the strict schedule of like what time to wake up and like the same exact foods and everything like that. Like as long as you're nourishing your body, as long as you're making the most out of your day, being productive and this trend motivates you to do that I think it's not toxic I'm just doing this for fun like this is just a trend to me of course I'm not perfect and all these other people you see on social media aren't perfect either it's all a highlight reel if you think about it so you're seeing all these girls be productive within this trend I just want to also point out that they have their own normal lives and they deal with stuff you don't see I hope you guys all enjoy this video and I hope that you can take away from this video is just to become motivated and be productive not follow exactly what I do and fall into like a toxic mindset I would never want that to happen with any one. Just wanted to put that out there. <laughs> gonna get questions on this but my bed is from ikea i'll link it down below for you guys because i always get questions on it i pull it out into a king because as of right now it's a twin size bed and you buy like two twin mattresses so it can like fold up like this to get out of bed but it's okay this is basically the workout portion of the video i tried to get up at six but that was not gonna happen so i didn't get out of bed until 7 30 but that's okay i think the whole point of this trend is just to kind of push yourself to live a healthy lifestyle whether that be waking up at 10 a.m or 6 a.m for you i don't think it really matters that much i usually just do cardio and then following some youtube tutorials on like an ab workout or a butt workout i don't have a gym membership so we're doing it from home honestly i think working out at home works just fine especially if you're just starting and don't need any like equipment so we're just gonna work with what we have and I'm so tired I'm gonna work out and then we're gonna get to making breakfast after that <laughs> pretty much where my whole entire fit is from it's obviously from Gymshark please sponsor me anyways I'm just gonna be wearing my Nike shoes with these Nike socks <laughs> showered I diffused my hair this is pretty much my natural hair I didn't really do anything to it I just dried it with my diffuser I mean I do have a hair care routine if you guys want to see it it's up in the eye right now but I also put on some makeup kept it pretty natural like my everyday kind of makeup stuff and I tried to conceal this pimple on my chin yeah it just it just didn't want to go away so please just ignore that throughout this video we're gonna get on to making our breakfast. I'm so, so hungry and also making coffee because I have not had caffeine yet. We don't have any avocados, so we're gonna have to figure out what to do instead of avocado toast, which is my normal go-to breakfast. So yeah, we'll see. <laughs> If you like getting the white chocolate mocha at Starbucks, I highly recommend this sauce. It tastes just like the actual thing when you put it in your latte, like at the bottom, and mix it with the espresso. I also recommend this as well. I don't know why it's not focusing, but I'll link these down below for you guys. I have my coffee. Sorry about the lighting, but since I don't really have any avocados to make avocado toast and I don't feel like driving to the store, I think I'm just gonna get one of these muffins. They look really, really good. I'm gonna scramble up two eggs right now. That sounds really, really good. Oh, maybe we'll have more watermelon. Definitely a lot later. 
later. I basically just did emails. That's what I did. I'm gonna style my hair really quickly with these plastic scrunchy looking hair ties. Yeah, basically after I did my breakfast, I kind of just did a lot of emails and catching up on stuff to do because 4th of July just recently happened and I really needed to respond to some emails. And then I also need to edit my beach vlog because I want this video to go up. This is why I can't multitask. <laughs> I want this video to go up before my beach vlog because this video doesn't require as much footage and editing as like my vacation vlogs do. I'm gonna just do this hairstyle. I do this one a lot. It's one of my favorites like go-to hairstyles because it takes like a quick minute. So it's taking me a bit longer right now because I'm trying to vlog and talk as I'm doing that. And I cannot multitask. Even though I did emails, I still wanna do like five minute journaling. Like that's what that girl kind of does. But I would also like to take photos today. I feel like that's such a that girl thing to do. Huge part of this trend is making everything look really aesthetic. Insta story worthy and stuff like that. So what would a that girl video be without posting on Instagram? If I do get photos today though, they're probably not gonna go up really soon because I have so many beach photos from the beach vacation that I'm trying to post within the next week or two. I just get really lazy with editing stuff. That's what it comes down to. Also, I've been getting really active on my Instagram stories recently. Like, I don't know. I was not that active on them and now I am. I'm gonna shut up now about my Instagram and we're gonna get back to this video. <laughs> I'm back home now. I went to Old Town Exchange, the highlighter for a different shade, like what I told you guys earlier. But I'm back home now, and I'll show you guys what I got from Ulta, but I'll give you guys a little OOTD of like my that girl kind of outfit. This is basically what I've been wearing this entire video. So top is from Garage. I love these tops so much. I ordered like five more in the mail that are coming soon because I wear this one all the freaking time. And then this necklace I made, this one's from Amazon, and then these two are from Tiffany. These sweat shorts are from Princess Polly. I love these shorts a lot. I feel like they really go with anything. I feel like this is a very that girl kind of outfit. I don't know. From Ulta, I did exchange the highlighter to a different shade. I liked what it did. It just wasn't the right shade for me. It was too cool tone. So I got a warmer tone one and it's just like this highlighter. I also restocked on this. This stuff is so good. The Laura Mercier setting powder, translucent powder. It's the best stuff ever. I got another eyebrow pencil because when I was doing my makeup today, I realized I was getting low on it. So I got another one. I got this like fun new stick. It's like the blush sticks or something like that. I already opened it, but it's from ColourPop. I was in their section in the store and I decided to get this because it looked really interesting and it's blush. So you like kind of put it on your face and then you can blend it out with your hands. I use a powdered blush from Kylie Cosmetics. It's the best thing ever but at the same time going into summer I kind of want to move into more cream products because I sweat off the powder ones and I feel like the cream ones just stick on my face better but tomorrow I'll experiment with this yeah that's pretty much my mini haul it's time to make some matcha because I'm so tired I tried to go to bed early for this video but like it just wasn't happening it's so like not in my sleep schedule to do that but I did at least wake up early so hopefully I go to bed early tonight and then kind of fix my sleep schedule because of this video so I'm kind of using this video as like a positive influence in my life I'm briefly gonna go over how I make a matcha latte. I apologize if the lighting's really bad, but the matcha powder I use, I get it at Walmart. Pretty good, I'll link it down below. I also don't have a fancy matcha maker, so what I do, you take like a spoonful and I put it in a water bottle and I add almond milk. <laughs> that much, I don't know. The syrup, I just like it to be a little bit sweeter, so. The matcha I get doesn't have any sweetener in it, so it's just kind of just plain matcha. And I like to do like a teaspoon of that. Nice thing about it being in a water bottle is that you don't have to whisk it. Nothing goes anywhere, so you kind of just shake it. You'll see me do this in all my videos where I obnoxiously shake like a water bottle like this, but like it blends with the fastest. And then you just pour it over ice in a mason jar. And there you have it, and it's really, really good. <laughs> Of plan and work on things until I'm like ready to go out with my friends in a while because that's the only thing that that girl does like just organize I didn't schedule to hang out with my friends on the day that I planned to film this video that kind of just happened coincidentally but I should really do some like planning and getting like organizing and stuff like that because I do have a lot of YouTube stuff I really need to organize that I've been putting off because I don't want to get to that because I know it's just a lot so it's really overwhelming so I'll just get to that <laughs> 